Cheers, Joe. Yes. Happy sweater. Uh, happy sweater <laughs> to you too. <laughs> Your sweater, your sweater game is strong, Drew. I guess. I'm likewise, my inspire, friend. Look at inspire. this. And y'all can't feel it. This is, this is a legit sweater. It's super Zach. cold this morning, and I'm feeling good. Um, it's good. Real quick before we get into today. Oh, happy birthday to Stefan. No, sorry. no, not at all. We're not doing that. So today's the last day to order FedEx two day, um, and then FedEx overnight tomorrow is the last day if you want to get it before Christmas. If you want to go first class or priority, you're just out of luck already because. We already hit our deadlines. Yeah. But anyway, but that's not what we're talking about mainly. No, today. we're going to talk about something else, and it has nothing to do with these pens. You although, know, actually, thank you, Andy. It does. Um, you know what happens sometimes with right now is Tuesday night rolls around, and I'm like, oh fart, we have a, right now in the morning, and do you say we that need to home? figure something out. I do. Yeah. In my brain, I'm like, oh fart. <laughs> uh, I'm like, what are we? What are we going to talk about? And normally we have it planned out, and we have guests and stuff like that. But this holiday has been so busy that. We've kind of like run, I'll, I'll, run out of the pre-planned ideas. It's also somewhere. safe to say that with, there's less planning with me, I think. Oh, well, you... you Generally speaking, you, so repre I'm sorry. you represent the... Brian hasn't really planned this out, so he brought <laughs> Drew in. Drew's always ready. <laughs> Drew's always up for anything. So, with that But this, mind, I think, is actually a pretty cool idea. Well, thank you, Drew. Because if you don't know, Twisby pens can be fully disassembled. Yes. I think all of them. Yeah, and they they're actually part of, their, part of their deal. They come with a wrench. They do. The older ones have a metal one. These have a plastic red one. Well, it's, these are the eco, the egos. Yes, the the five eighties and right. the Vax still, still have the have metal, metal ones. ones. Yep. I don't know why I put it on my forehead. <laughs> and before we get started, yeah, no, keep that there. I'm playing heads up with my sister. Before we get started, <laughs> I think it's yeah. Yeah. it makes sense to say that you don't need to do this. And really, you shouldn't need to do this unless either something goes wrong or your pen cleaning habits are not or where they should be. Or if you want to race against your friend. What? Because that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. So first off, we're going to talk about how they come apart because there's been a lot of red and green and pastel ecos that have gotten in your hands recently. So we thought this might be kind of top of mind for a lot of you. Um, but then it also would be fun for Drew and I to race against each other so you can disassemble and then reassemble to so the ego the fastest. Yeah. And to be to be <clears throat> clear, we have not practiced or really done this much in advance at all no. of this video. So it should be rather entertaining. I used to do it a lot. Except right now. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it has crossed my mind that I, I want to flick some of your pieces off the table as you're disassembling it. Well, just to now you. it's premeditated, so but that's an, a whole an different of, punishment. An effort of being honest, i got to say that could happen. Um, so let's talk about how this thing actually comes apart. So we're going to talk about the method that we're going to use. Yep. So we're not going to like take the whole cap apart and no. go completely nuts. You can technically remove the insert and stuff like that. We're not going to do that because that requires extra tools. Mm -hmm. So the cap is going to stay in its original form. Yep. The nib and feed are gonna have to come out. Now, and don't then be set properly if, back if in you, there. If you can, with a lot of nib and feeds, when they're when you're pulling out uh, friction fit nib and feeds, it's okay to grab them by the fins. With this one, don't do it. The fins, that fins those are, are the uh, fins are you know weak. pointy bits on the feed. They can collapse and have kind of a domino effect, and uh, you don't mm -hmm. want that. But so I would grab it at the sides. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what I just did, and it's it is tight in there. So it is. This is going to be Philip over at Twisby actually has told me that just a little wiggle, not like a, uh, 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 but just like a little kind of vibration wiggle. wiggle can help it come right out. Yeah, um, we're going to leave the O rings on, the ones that are on the the back and the grip here. So that that is not going to be part of the deal. So the way that this thing comes apart, you got to take the wrench, and you have to put it in here. It goes into a, a slot that's right here. You can't really do it a wrong and way. And then which way does it go? It goes righty loosey. Right. Well, if you're okay. holding it like this, it's ready, Lucy. Oh! Yeah, so it goes clockwise to remove it. Unless you're doing this. Oh, gosh. In which case, it's counterclockwise. Drew. Oh, Drew, you're just an agent of chaos. Okay, so that's... Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Fine. It's totally for comedic right. effect. So the body, that's the body. We're going to leave the ovaries <laughs> on the body. The, the piston mechanism, this is where it's going to get really interesting because you got to remove it. And then when we reassemble it, we're going to have to put it back so that it's seated in the proper place. The seal comes off of the piston. The knob comes off the back here. And then there's two pieces right there. So that is fully disassembled. And then to reassemble it, you got to screw this on. You have to like screw it on to the right like location back here somewhere. Yeah, it's a... You need to put the two pieces back together. Oh, we'll get there. 
the rod, piston rod. I'm not explaining it well, but yeah. Well, we do have a video on it. We have a yeah, quick, uh, quick Twisby 580 disassembly video that is super helpful. So it's basically going to be whoever gets lucky enough to put this <laughs> this mechanism. In yeah, because the, right the trick location. is you. It's not hard to put back together, but like right here, right now, my piston knob is. Um, not seating perfectly up against this rim here, but my plunger or the gasket here is hitting the back of this mechanism. So this is all the way in, but the cap is going to have some weird play in it. Yeah. So that wouldn't work. So I need to reset. So there needs to be a little bit of yeah. There's got to be a little bit of play. So in now there. I need to bring the cap down, a, the twist, the knob down a little bit more, and then start feeding the rod in. And then there you see that there's just a little bit of space. And that's what you want. You want, you want the knob to hit this section before the gasket hits the the assembly here. So if this hits that first, it's not you're not gonna have a good time. This is what you want to have connect. But you want to have this connect to this with as little of a gap here as possible, so you get maximum fill. You mean like that, Drew? How good does that look? All right, mm. it's slightly better than mine, mm. but how many tries was that? But this is a little lower than it was originally. Yeah, this, all right. It's life hack. All right. Thing. We'll see now. And then we got to seat it back in here in the proper place. Now you know you're not going to be able to replicate that, though. Well, you know what? We you're shall underestimating see. my abilities, Joe. We shall see. Here I am going to fling my wrench across the table again. Yeah, you will. This is going to be an oh, experience. Yeah, that's, so we wanna... that's about how I started it, started with it. Yeah. All right, we don't need to. We don't need to compare I mean, side I'm by just saying, side. I'm all right, just saying. it's you're, fine. You, you were having like a talking moment. Yeah, Brian, I was Brian. educating. You were in, you were just doing your thing. We'll have to watch the replay. Make sure it's legal. All right. Well, everything up to this point <clears throat> is null and void. It's really what happens from here on out that matters. Yeah, this is just a qualifier. How do they look right now, though? Are they pretty equal? Mm. No. Yeah. If you if you look at mm. it. Brian's has less of a gap between his uh, seal and the assembly, which means his is going to have slightly more ink in it. Yeah, it will. So you could say mine is superior. You could, but this, the green's still prettier, so whatever. Mm -hmm. It's fine. All right. All right, Drew. So the rules are Andy will say go, and Andy will be the judge and jury as to... Okay. That's not fair whether at all. It's, whether it's been completely disassembled and then reassembled. So we're gonna disassemble it completely. Okay. And then we're gonna reassemble it completely. Okay. Do we? Do we? And we have to like just hands, hands off, off for a second, for and, a second then, and then. Okay. Yeah. And and for my own sake, I should probably say like stand if, up, if turn around. Sit down. If we're intentionally yeah. like <laughs> trying to cause harm, we're to not the doing other, that. Then you're disqualified. Yeah. So. Thank you for putting that you rule in place for yourself. Yeah, that. you just made that. I did. I did that for myself because self control. I, the temptation That's is so <laughs> real. Why? That, uh, I feel like, Why? I feel like I can just so easily just be like, Bleh! and just and just fling your cap across Why the table. Why are you thinking that way? That did I, not I even know. cross I'm, my mind. I'm oddly competitive with things that don't matter. Like, All right. Like pizza eating contests that you know from my, my childhood. Uh, we also have had a, ta a taco eating contest before. We anyway, have. Anyway, Twisby is <clears> Who won the taco eating too. contest? Didn't we tie? Me, you, and Sam? We ate the same amount of tacos. Who finished first? Oh, no, no. He definitely finished first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's, that's not go. what we're doing okay. here. Okay. Hang All right. on. I gotta, I gotta oh, my. get in the zone here. Okay. All right. Let's just like... Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So, Andy, I feel like I'm going to smack my coffee cup on the table. Okay. You All ready, right. Drew? All right. On your yeah. mark. Okay. Get set. Go. Oh, this is hard. So it's going to be a quiet section of right now because Brian can't do two things at one time. Huh? <laughs> okay. Boop! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, God, where am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! Okay, take <laughs> oh, God, no, that's not good enough. Drew, you better go quicker. I'm going, I'm going. Go to cooking now. <laughs> go, go, go. Ah, no, yeah. I did it. Oh, no. That's hey, oh. hey, DQ, DQ. <laughs> ah, no. Drew. <laughs> what? I see, I did the spin method, and the spin method killed me. I'm trying to do fast by doing this, and I just, Is it right I though? failed. Is it right though? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, he did good. He did good. 
Nailed it. Ah. Nailed it. Man, oh, my hands are shaking. Jeez. <laughs> Your adrenaline's pumping. I am pumping. nervous. <laughs> Seriously, I can't even get the thing in. Oh, I have had a full cup of coffee this morning. Though. There you go. Oh, man. There you go. Uh, and that he he does. This is even properly like, set. Th this is this is not even. Uh, oh, what is this that? Is, this is worse than. What it. is that shit? All right, it, it it it's 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 worse than it started. Yeah, no, that. If I hadn't flung Still the wrench got though. It. Still got it. If I hadn't yeah. flung the wrench though. Thank you, Andy. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun, Drew. <sighs> It's been a pleasure. What well, is this? Did you? Did you? Like you're a worthy competitor. When you when you were in the uh, the core, where did you have to uh, take apart rifles and stuff? Yeah. See, they see. He's got experience. Dude, I, that was 15 I, years ago. Muscle memory. I'm just saying. I've never had to do that. This is this was. <laughs> sad. Okay, you can make all the excuses you want. I will. That's okay. I've got so many. <laughs> all right, this has been a lot of fun. Um, this will be the last right now that we have before Christmas time. So, oh um, my. we'll be back. I think we'll be back Wednesday next week, right? Yeah, so we'll be off Monday because we're closed. Yep. But uh, I hope you all who celebrate Christmas have a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your sweaters and your trees and hot cocoa. And all the things that. Buns <laughs> and candy canes and presents and family and Chinese friends. Food. Chinese food. Yes, indeed, because that's part of everybody's Christmas. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us on this awesome right now. And right on.